the water heater can be flipped here that'll turn the water heater on it's labeled for you should be uh, this little box down here on the floor this is an LP gas detector it's got a green light on that's normal it might have a little fan to it that's normal if that goes off don't panic but get everybody out of the coach shut the gas off and try and figure out if you truly have a gas leak since LP has no real smell to it that's really a uh, fluorocarbon detector okay we call it an LP detector because LP is a fluorocarbon but if your wife's standing here doing her hair and she sprays hairspray and that falls down that'll set it off if you got a candle here on the on the stand because you just cooked breakfast and you want to get the grease smell out of the kitchen if the smoke's traveling down to the floor that'll set it off so when I say don't freak out you may not have a, a an LP leak okay it might be something else that you're doing so kinda look around and figure it out but go out and get that LP shut off and for certain get the wife and the kids out of the coach uh, this brown box down here is your converter what happens with a converter on an RV 110 power comes in it gets converted to 12 volt power all your 12 volt fuses are here and they're listed and all your 110 breakers are here 110 is AC microwave uh, electric water heater and air conditioner everything else will work on 12 volt the lights will work on 12 volt and all you do for the lights is flick the little switch in this case see the light doesn't work anytime a light doesn't work check and see if there's a wall switch somewhere okay I know we've got a battery on this coach there you go the wall switch was off right when you come in the door what most manufacturers do is have a wall switch right by the door for at least one overhead light so you don't have to come into a dark coach and fumble around trying to find the light you can hit that switch as soon as you get in uh, so anytime like in the bathroom if the fan doesn't work see if there's a wall switch if the light doesn't work somewhere look for a wall switch this is a pretty small coach so it won't take that long to figure everything out if a uh, an outlet doesn't work again outlets are 110 so they, they you have to be plugged in to get an outlet to work but if you're plugged in and say the clock on your microwaves on so you know you've got power check for a, a GFI being popped on your outlet okay here it is here's the one with the reset once you hit that reset then it'll go for the whole it'll it'll reset all of them more thing on the uh, converter box there is a fan in there when it gets hot that'll kick on when people walk by and they feel that little bit of fan hit their leg that freaks them out a little bit that's very normal it's just that box trying to keep itself cool so don't worry about that as you can see the uh, microwave refrigerator little cooktop and sink are all slid out on a little slide room all you have to do make sure the floor is clear make sure there's nothing uh, truising getting in your way go down to the slide out switch just simply go to in and hold it show them coming in it'll either stop dead or it'll make a ratchet sound either way there you go it's done to put it out you're gonna go to out make sure that you've got space outside so you're not running into your neighbor's car or your neighbor's camper uh, obviously we had it out so we don't have to check you just run it out again it'll stop dead when it gets all the way out that's it thanks